Alberta is starting to gain a reputation internationally for our innovation. There are a lot of Alberta technology companies that are making waves in other markets, including you know, the United Arab Emirates and Africa and Asia, becoming leaders in the digital economy. Hey folks, Flo here with Blockchain North. I'm here with Alexis from Guild One. How are you doing, Alexis? I am wonderful. Thank you so much. Always exciting during Stampede Week. Absolutely. So we're here in Alberta. Uh, the conference is very much, and this week is all about, uh, you know, Alberta, about its competitiveness, about digital assets, about energy. Why is Alberta, perhaps, you tell me if this is right or wrong, disproportionately competitive in Canada? Well, I think it's all about our energy industry. Uh, we're building digital infrastructure that's going to power the next generation of artificial intelligence as well as digital assets. And this connection between physical infrastructure and the digital economy uh, is so powerful and gives us an enormous advantage globally. I get this idea that most people can understand the AI side of things, but I'd like to hone in on the digital assets side of things. Because I feel like there's a lot of people who might not understand why we even need them, one. And two, uh, you know, why Canada should, should be investing its resources or, or, or favoring this industry over, for example, physical infrastructure. Could you speak to the, the strategic importance of digital asset infrastructure? Sure, absolutely. Well, when it comes to Bitcoin mining, uh, Bitcoin has been adopted by the U.S. government uh, at this point and numerous other countries as a strategic asset. So globally, it now has a really strong geopolitical importance. And I can understand Alberta wanting to leverage our natural resources uh, into supporting that. Yeah, of course. And, and there's been talk at the government level, including a few days ago with uh, Minister Nally, who we interviewed, about perhaps putting forward or tabling a Alberta Bitcoin Act. What would that do in Alberta and what impact could that have for Canada? Well, an Alberta Bitcoin Act would strand, send a really strong signal um, that the government is committed to supporting the growth of this industry, and it would encourage a lot of large-scale, long-term infrastructure investments by companies like digital asset miners, uh, which would be very positive. And I think it could also help uh, encourage the growth of other technology companies that tend to cluster around Bitcoin mining infrastructure this could be payment providers, it could be uh, companies that provide necessary um, equipment like cooling systems. So I think that there are flow over effects as well, apart from just the digital asset mining that could benefit Alberta significantly. And if there was an Alberta Bitcoin Act and perhaps even, let's hope, a strategic Bitcoin reserve, do you see other provinces potentially following suit? Like we've seen in the US, one state, two, three, and now I think it's maybe 12 different states that, that have at least uh, tabled some form of you know, formal support for the Bitcoin industry. It's hard to say. I think Alberta is fairly unique in Canada um, in terms of the qualities that um, would be required to push through really innovative and you know forward-thinking legislation like a Bitcoin Act. I think that potentially Saskatchewan has, shares some similar political views and attitudes. Um, but I would say that, you know, Bitcoin Act, regardless, we are seeing a lot of movement in the industry in Canada. Uh, HUT 8 recently signed a major contract in Ontario that will dramatically expand their operations there. And so we are seeing a lot of positive signs regardless of whether or not we have formal acts uh, promoting particular digital asset strategies. Interesting. And of course here in Alberta we've also seen BitDeer invest in uh, southern Alberta, I believe near Medicine Hat. I think it's a billion dollar investment. Final question about your business, Guild One. Uh, as far as I know it's an Alberta business, a Canadian business, but I do know from your socials that you travel all over the world on a fairly regular basis. I'm wondering what you could tell us about the perception people have of Alberta. When you say we're, we're building in Canada, I'm sure you place, you know, I'm from Alberta. What do people then, you know, send back to you about what they know or what they, what they think of Alberta? Yeah, it's really interesting. I would say that there are two key things that come up. Uh, one is BAM. You know, and that we're surrounded by beautiful nature, which of course we are. 
and the other is our energy industry. Um, we are well known globally and it's a, I'm a little bit biased because most of the work that I do is in the energy industry, so people have some familiarity with us as a leading energy producer. Um, but I think that Alberta is starting to gain a reputation internationally for our innovation. There are a lot of Alberta technology companies that are making waves in other markets, including you know, the United Arab Emirates and Africa and Asia, and it's incredible to see uh, just how much we're changing the perception of us as an energy and agricultural hub, but really becoming leaders in the digital economy as well. I know you're also a big advocate for sustainability. And one more question I want to ask. I think you sit on the CBC Sustainability Committee. Correct yeah, me if I'm the wrong. Chair of the Sustainability Committee. There yeah. you go, the chair of the Sustainability Committee. Um, there is obviously still a lot of misconceptions about, about blockchain and in particular mining and, and Bitcoin and people associate sure. that with high energy usage, probably not totally incorrect, but therefore bad for, you know, the, uh, the let's say the environment. As someone who cares specifically about the environment, what do you answer those, to those people in as simplistic terms as you can? I think that's a really important question because all of the same concerns that we're dealing with with respect to Bitcoin mining, we're dealing with with respect to AI. So, you know, we know generally what the value of Bitcoin is. It's a store of value. It's a strategic asset. You know, there are reasons why major corporations are starting Bitcoin reserves and there are all kinds of publicly traded market products based in Bitcoin. It has value. We also think that AI has a significant amount of value to add as a technology. Um, and I think that, you know, we really need to look at the energy balance behind both AI and Bitcoin. Uh, the Bitcoin network is almost half, to my understanding, powered by renewables, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. And most of the major hyperscalers preferentially seek out renewable power sources as well. So I think obviously there's a significant environmental impact to both. It's something that we do have to navigate. And I think that market forces as well as you know sustainability policies and government regulations are in both cases driving us towards more sustainability for both of those compute use cases. Good news. Thank you so much, Alexis. It's been a pleasure speaking with you.